Hello guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about the Matrix Revolution. So, Matrix Revolution is the sequel or the, I guess the part 3 of a bigger story of the Matrix story or the Matrix trilogy so to speak and this is the last one but I heard there's going to be a fourth one coming now we just don't know because of the coronavirus so we'll see. What did I like about this movie is that we get to see, we get to see more of um, Neo's journey or the, the end of his journey. The we get to see the end of Trinity's journey. We get to see the end of Morpheus' journey. We get to see the end of Niobe. We get this what else? The end see get the end of um, Agent Smith. I like that. You get to see a little bit, but most of it is focused on Neo uh, because it is, the, it is his journey. It is about the Messiah or the Savior, that sort of thing. And not to, to be all religious, but that's what this, the, the movie kind of focused back on a little bit. I love the action sequence. The Probably my favorite sequence would be, probably the two biggest sequence would be the the battle for Zion uh, with all the calamari, that's what the uh, people of Zion call them, uh, the, the squid machine. And then the battle between uh, Agent Smith and Neo. But personally, I like the battle of Zion more because it feel grittier, it feel raw, it, it look raw, it look authentic, it look like an actual assault. You know on a city and you get to see that because this is where the machine actually attacking the human society or the human city so that's why i liked it so what did i also like about this movie is that there's a little bit more conversation between agent smith and neo you get to see that that relationship you get to see you know, the oracle you get to see just a little bit more in this movie. I'm just trying to think on top of my head right now. Uh, what else? What else did I like about this movie? Uh, it, it sort of bring the end to this whole trilogy. And that's what I like about this movie. Is that this movie, um, overall, generally the direction of this movie is I feel it's much more focused. It looks, and you could tell, it's much more focused than the the major uh, major reloaded. It feel like they're it's bringing the tying everything together and ending the story, supposedly. So that is what I like about this movie. What I did not like is uh, we don't get to see what happened to all these other ship. We only hear in exposition. Two is Neo saved this kid. We we'll never see him get. We we'll never see Neo save the kid, but he Neo did say you save yourself. But then that that lie could imply many things or mean many things. What else? Uh, what else did the Neo's fight between Asia Smith was kind of didn't feel. I think grounded in reality, understandably, because they are almost superhuman being in the Matrix. It just didn't feel grounded like the Battle of Zion. So this doesn't feel raw. You don't get to see all the actual fight sequences. They're more like just spinning in the sky and that sort of thing. It just didn't feel grounded and feel real, so to speak. And two is, uh, we just... It, the the way it is left off, it feel like th there is an end for for Neo, but is the the ending doesn't feel hurrah or the uh, greatness that Neo did. He achieved something. It's more like he is uh, sacrificing himself. For the, just for the people of Zion. Understand that is a great thing. That is a, in term, a, a hero. A hero's uh, action. That truly is. But it doesn't, 
make the audience feel like, wow, he achieved something that none of his predecessors did have done. And he did proceed, he did succeed where his predecessor did not. And I'm not, I'm telling, that is the truth. But the way it is executed, the way that is done, we just don't get that happiness from Neo sacrifice. I mean, the people of Zion certainly does, but us, the audience, should be too. It feel like he just he left without actually saying goodbye to us, the audience, and the people of Zion. So it just feel a little uh, lack, not lacking, but a little what the word for uh, on the on the hook, so to speak, or making you fishing for the bait if you understand what i'm saying so what was the rating i give this movie i still give it a seven out of ten is slight it is slightly better than reloaded matrix reloaded but it's not as good as the matrix the first one because of its engine because the movie the first one it was just a great movie conceptually ideally and all this stuff does all these two last movie just didn't they have idea from the first one but more of it is just focus on a bigger picture which make it loses its closeness or this close journey to the uh, characters so that's why I give it a 7. And the Matrix first one, I'll probably give it an 8 or 9. I can't remember what I gave. But it's probably it's, a, it's in the high, almost to the ten, near 10s. So, again guys, a 7 out of 10. I truly enjoy this movie for its, most of, for its action sequence. Not for its content or its um, you know script or its idea of being in the Matrix. Or the concept of it. So... Anyway guys, please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Anyway, thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.